there! In today's video, I'm going to be flipping through my March Traveler's Notebooks. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I use two different notebooks for two different purposes. In my brand new blue um, edition that was just released, I am using the weekly insert to archive the things that we do. And then in this insert, which was in my Ace um, Hotel Edition Camel, um, I've got my April insert in here now, um, is the stuff that I'm documenting that needs a little more journaling or just personal journaling and just stuff like that. So let's go ahead and quickly flip through my weekly. If you have any questions about the blue edition, I did film an unboxing and I will link it down below so you, you can find that and my opinion on the matter. So here is the beginning of March. This was the um, first month that I was part of the stationary selection design team. So I just put, actually, yes. It started in March, but this is the February kit um, stuff. <clears throat> These items are from the February kit. Um, I did start being on the design team in March, but I didn't get my kit until, you can see right here on the 25th. So um, I just have some things here and some postage stamps like I always do and then some stickers and then just simple um, decorating. I decided to flip the orientation this week. The dates are usually right here and I decided to flip it and put it on this side just for something new and different and fun. Here is the next week. I have a process video for this one as well. I will link this down below so you can find this. Um, but the whole premise behind this um, layout was that I was sent um, all of these items uh, from a pen pal and I challenged myself to use all of the items instead of putting them in my stash and I really love the way it turned out. Um, the process was really, really fun and you can see in the video how it came together. Here is the week of St. Patrick's Day, which you can very clearly tell. I had this piece of ephemera right here that was very clearly Irish uh, themed. <laughs> so I decided to let this be the base of what carried the entire layout. Um, yeah, so I didn't really, I didn't get too in depth with the, the decorating. I just wanted to use this piece. So I just used a vintage ticket here. This was on some happy mail from one of my pen pals and then just some green type stamps that I had in my stash that were just laying on top of my desk. Just decided to slap them down and... Okay, sorry about that. I forgot that I had some pretty um, private journaling here, so I had to stop the video really quickly. But here is another layout that I decided to do a kind of Japanese theme with. And this piece of paper right here, I fussy cut out from a piece of letter writing stationery, some social stationery that I thought was really pretty. And then just did some basic journaling um, and then I put a stamp here and some washi and then <clears throat> you can kind of see through here I've got a stamp here a little thing here and then on the side I've got washi and then this really pretty bird right here that was on the other side of the stationary piece so that was really pretty sorry I'm covering this up but it's um, some super private journaling here is the week that um, Easter fell into, and I challenged myself to use these stickers from Cafe Analog and some water coloring to kind of match it. I like the way it turned out. Um, and then I had these three things that I acquired throughout the week, and then this washi tape I had in my stash. Um, we didn't do a whole lot for Easter this year. I had decorated this page as part of the, ta the challenge before. And then when Easter actually came, we kind of dropped the ball and forgot about it for a little while, which is hilarious because I decorated this page for Easter, but that's how things go when you're a mom. <laughs> things slip your mind and that's fine. Um, but yeah, I like the way it turned out. I really like the way this little thing turned out and I love these little stickers. They're so stinking cute. Um, and I will link the Cafe Analog shop down below so you can find the things that I am showing. It's too late to use the Easter ones, but um, she has a really a lot of really fun things in her shop. <clears throat> so, yeah, that is it for my weekly. 
Now let's do this one. This is this insert right here and then it starts for March and I did some simple journaling um, about how um, I was really surprised that I made the design team for the stationery selection and I'm super humbled and feeling super blessed about that and then I included the screenshot from the actual stationery selection Facebook or Instagram account with the um, announcement of who was on the team so that was really fun and special and I used supplies from um, the February kit. So this is from the stationery and this is from the notebook. So I thought that was really fun. Here is a little journaling about an event that we went to and I've just got this cute little tip in. It was a seafood festival and here's a map and all the booths with all the food that you could try. And then I wrote down all the things that we actually tried, which was a lot of fun. And just simple journaling with a couple pictures. And then I haven't actually announced this or put it out there at all, but I was actually um, approached by the owner of Cafe Analog if I would be the U.S. ambassador for the brand, for the, um, the Cafe Analog brand. And after I spoke to Mitz about it, she said she was totally fine with it and had no issues. So we went ahead and decided that I would go ahead and be the U.S. brand ambassador, which is amazing. And... Um, yeah, within two weeks, I just became part of two companies that I really, really adore and that I love and that I have supported and followed since the very beginning. Since they started these companies, I've been there supporting them and cheering them on and now I get to be part of their teams and it's just, it's just so amazing. It's so humbling and I was really excited and I just can't wait to see what the future holds with all of that. So I just included her postcard when she sent her first little package over and journaling and then I wanted to keep the envelope that actually had my name on it and that I was the US brand ambassador. I thought that was really special. So yeah. <laughs> um, here's, um, I documented that we went to a movie, nothing super special about that. I was gonna write something here because I got this really pretty um, paper bundle in the mail from one of my pen pals and I wanted to use it and then I didn't end up writing anything. I'll probably write something in there or I'll just leave it the way it is because it's cute the way it is. And here is where I went to an event with my husband to go see the Impractical Jokers. He loves them. I, um, let's see, I can, I can deal with them, like their show, but sometimes like, I just don't get that kind of humor. Not that I'm, like, super serious. I'm a really silly, goofy person. And I was actually, when I graduated high school my senior year, I was elected as the class clown. So I'm a huge goofball. But um, these guys, like, they were really funny in person. I really loved, like, the whole event was just a whole lot of fun. But, like, sometimes things get translated differently on TV. And I don't know. I enjoyed myself. It was a lot of fun. They were really funny. I don't love the TV show sometimes. And then here is some my layout for my birthday. I haven't written anything down because I want to do some reflective journaling and I don't really like to share that kind of journaling. So I've just decorated the page with this really adorable Canadian Post um, stamp envelope. I just love the way this looks and I wanted to tip it in. I had some stuff in here but it was kind of bulking up so I took it out. I might slip something back in there. just so that it has a purpose in there, we'll see, but yeah, so that's that. Just some really pretty paper that I got from Happy Mail that I wanted to save. Here is a layout for my stationery selection March kit, and then what I did with it, so that was really fun. I really enjoyed this kit a lot. I'm going to enjoy April a lot more, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, yeah, but this one, made me think outside of the box and in a garden box. So if you've read my uh, blog post for that, I'll link it down below as well so you can see that. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. I'm trying to like silence them. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And then here is the week that my mom came into town for um, spring break. And... I just did like daily journaling for this so I had a bunch of pictures and I wanted to write a little bit about it 
And so that's what I did. And then I've done the same thing over here. I'm not gonna lift this up because there's some private journaling under here. Um, but we went to go see the Easter Bunny and we had a lot of fun while she was here. But yeah, you get the point of what it looks like without seeing the journaling. Then we had my oldest son's sixth birthday party. I cannot believe he's six. So I've got some pictures here with a little tip in because there were a lot of pictures. <laughs> and then some more daily journaling with um, a picture of my mom with the boys and just some fun things. And then I think this is the last event from March. This was on March 31st. So this is the letter writing social and the Traveler's Notebook meetup that I went to at the Paper Seahorse. Had a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun at these events. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed. I don't think I'm going to put anything under here. Just I said what I had to say here. And then I just need to do a little journaling there. And then I received the blue standard size traveler's notebook for my birthday while I was there. So that was really amazing. And then a photo of everybody that came to the event. And then this is actually an afterthought. My son had his uh, field trip on this Thursday and I forgot to put a space in for it. And I knew it was gonna be a ton of pictures anyway. So I decided to just make it a totally separate spread at the end. And so we've got some photos here of all the animals and then a picture of my son and some journaling with their cute little name tags because my husband was a chaperone. So that was a lot of fun. And then that's it. There's nothing else back here. And this is the end of the insert. And I've started a new one, like I said, in my still very sweaty Ace Hotel Edition this thing is so sweet. You can I hope you can see that. Like, I can literally write on this thing. Not at all like uh, the older ones. So for April, I'm going to be using the Sunny Sunday insert that I just got from Cute Things from Japan. And then I've got some stuff stuffed in here that I want to use. And then I will just show you a quick sneak peek of a challenge that I did. There's a process video for this as well. I will link that down below as well. <laughs> Let's hope I can keep my editing right. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.